Kamala Harris trails in the race, with the electoral vote margin currently at 306 to 232. Polls now suggest she could be at risk of losing entirely, a concerning sign, especially considering Trump is often underestimated in surveys. Recently, Trafalgar Group and Insider Advantage conducted polls in key battleground states. Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. The results are significant. Harris leads in all three Rust Belt states. In Michigan, she holds a narrow 1.5% lead, and in Wisconsin, she is ahead by 1.6%. Notably, Wisconsin is typically the most conservative of the three blue wall states. Trump is polling at 46.8%, while Harris leads with 48.4%. In Pennsylvania, she holds a slight 0.5% lead at 47.9% compared to Trump's 47.3%. Pennsylvania, one of the most critical states, could determine the outcome of the race. If Trump loses Pennsylvania by even 0.1%, his path to victory becomes uncertain. In other key states, Trump is also struggling. An insider advantage poll in Georgia shows a tie at 48%, the only state where he isn't losing outright. Even though the race is tight there, Trump leads by a slim 1.4% in North Carolina and Arizona. Currently, Michigan and Pennsylvania lean blue, and Wisconsin is tilting blue as well. However, polling errors must be considered, as surveys have often underestimated Trump's support. For instance, in 2020, Biden was projected to win Wisconsin by 8.4%, but Trump had taken the state four years prior. Biden eventually won, but only by a razor-thin margin of 0.63%. Biden's victory in Wisconsin in 2020 was less impressive than Trump's win over Hillary Clinton in 2016. Now, Wisconsin could easily flip red. In Michigan, Biden was projected to win by 7.9%, but he carried the state by only 2.8%, a much narrower margin than expected. Polls here were less wrong than in Wisconsin, but they still underestimated Trump by five points. If the same polling errors occur in this race, Trump could win Michigan. Currently, Harris leads by two points in the polling average. State of Pennsylvania, the most important state in the 2024 election. Taking a look at the polling averages in Pennsylvania, we see that Harris leads by 0.6%. Now Pennsylvania is a pure toss-up, but there are many facts that can contribute to how Pennsylvania will vote. First of all, based on the debate today, both candidates had a rather civil debate agreeing with each other on many issues. With different approaches, J.D. Vance was a very smooth talker, while Tim Waltz really got down to some clarification on policy with Harris. Pennsylvania polling in 2020 was more accurate, with Biden projected to win by 4.7 percent. He ultimately won by 1.2 percent, meaning the polls overstated his support by 3.5 percent. Harris currently holds a 0.5-point lead, she could win Pennsylvania. This would still fall within the lean category, but it's a crucial win, as Pennsylvania is arguably the most important state in the election. As for the Sun Belt states, polling has generally been more accurate, but it still leans in favor of Democrats. Georgia has been the most accurate state. In 2020, Biden was expected to win by 1.2 percent, and he did, though by only 0.24 percent. Pollsters predicted his victory but overstated the margin. Given the current tie in polling between Harris and Trump, if Trump is once again underestimated by just 1%, Georgia will likely remain red. In North Carolina, many had expected Biden to win in 2020, especially after Georgia turned blue. However, Trump never trailed during the campaign and ultimately won North Carolina by 1.3%. This was partly due to a scandal involving Senate candidate Cal Cunningham, which likely hurt the Democrats. Trump is unlikely to lose North Carolina this time, and if the polls once again underestimate him, he could win by as much as 4%. In Nevada, the 2020 polling wasn't far off, but still overstated Biden's lead by three points. Biden was projected to win by 5.3%, but ended up defeating Trump by only 2.4%. Despite national trends, Nevada remained steady. Since the state elected a Republican governor in 2022, Trump now has a strong chance of becoming the first Republican to win Nevada since George W. Bush in 2004. Current polls show Harris leading by just 1%. In Arizona, polling in 2020 also favored the Democrats. Biden was expected to win by 2.6%, but he edged out Trump by a mere 0.31%.
In North Carolina, Trump appears poised to secure his third consecutive victory. If polling errors similar to past elections occur, underestimating Trump by three points, he could win by as much as 4%, cementing North Carolina as a red state. Next is Nevada. Although the polls were not wildly inaccurate in 2020, they still overestimated Biden's lead by three points, predicting him to win by 5.3%. In the end, Biden defeated Trump by a 2.4% margin, the same margin by which Hillary Clinton won in 2016. While there was a leftward shift nationally, Nevada stayed stable, suggesting a growing Republican trend in the state. In 2022, Nevada elected a Republican governor, giving Trump a solid chance to become the first Republican to win the state since George W. Bush in 2004. That would be a remarkable comeback for Trump, who currently trails Harris by just 1%, according to the latest polls. And finally, Arizona. The 2020 polls weren't terrible, but still overestimated Democratic support. Biden was expected to win by a 2.6% margin, but he only gained 0.31%. The poll failed to reflect Arizona's competitiveness. As in previous elections, Trump is performing better in Pennsylvania than in other swing states. The Keystone State is shifting to the right. Although Tim Walz's influence may be felt in rural areas of Michigan and Wisconsin, it won't have as much impact in Pennsylvania, which is farther east. Since Kamala Harris chose Walz as her running mate, Pennsylvania seems poised to tip the scales for Trump. He could win additional states, but I currently have Nevada, Michigan, and Wisconsin leaning blue as well. These states will be close, and if Harris wins any of them, it wouldn't be surprising. Michigan is the likeliest state for her to win, followed by Nevada, then Wisconsin. 2020, Biden was predicted to win by a large margin, but in reality, it was much closer. Biden's victories in Arizona, Georgia, and Wisconsin secured his 270 electoral votes. I'd like to remind you that no poll is 100% accurate, and they all come with some margin of error. With Election Day fast approaching, both candidates are doing everything they can to secure the presidency of the United States. The world is closely watching the political situation unfold, and I'm confident that on November 5th, the people will make the right choice. Over the next month, I'll be keeping a close eye on all the candidates' public appearances and will update you, my valued viewers, on any shifts in the electoral polls. Stay tuned as we witness American history in the making. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates as we approach the November election.